Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. One more day until weekend. This week has flown by like what I said in yesterday's vlog, but it's nice. Um, I'm so ready for the weekend again, but next week's gonna feel like it's dragging more than likely because I head off Monday this week and I like those days off during the week. Today is a neat day, so for breakfast I brought my healthy chocolate peanut butter cheesecake. I mixed it with cookie butter instead of peanut butter. For lunch I brought pitas, some chicken creations, barbecue chicken, ranch, and lettuce to make some pita pockets, I guess, with some of my homemade tortilla chips. And I think tonight for dinner I'm going to do a shrimp spinach alfredo pizza. I thought about it last night before bed and I got really excited, so I think that's going to be the winner for dinner. <laughs> Working out. I don't really know if I'm going to do that tonight because my leg is still bothering me. So I might do yoga or something like that to get some type of exercise in. But I'm not going to be able to run because I want to be able to rest my leg today. Um, tomorrow would be a lower body workout. So we'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow, but I think I'm going to rest my leg and hamstring so that way it doesn't get worse because I, I don't want to hurt myself to where I can't run for months compared to not running for a couple days, you know. So I'm going to rest it today. I brought in a heating pad. I'll probably um, use that to help maybe soothe the muscle or whatever. So that's kind of what I have planned, but I'm going to let you guys go because I got a lot to do. So I will talk to you later on this afternoon, let you know how today's eat day goes. I'm attempting to get ready for bed. I feel like I've been attempting to get ready for bed for like the past 30 minutes and I'm not getting anywhere closer to where I need to be. No, that's not true. I am just about ready for bed though. I need to pack my gym bag for tomorrow though and then I should be good. I didn't vlog whenever I got home, uh, mostly because I wanted to get started to work out as soon as possible. And so I did. I did a weight loss um, yoga session with Adrian on YouTube. And then I basically jumped up and started cooking dinner. I made myself a shrimp alfredo pizza, basically. And I want to say that I kept at the pizza and didn't snack on anything else, but I did. And I um, definitely ate more than I needed to tonight. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I was so hungry from yesterday, maybe. Or maybe my body just was really wanting more food. Maybe my body feels like it needs more food because of my muscles being sore and they want to try to repair them. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just trying to come up with the reasons as to why I ate more than um, I wanted to, which sucks because I know I'll be bloated tomorrow now. Of course, and I'll hate myself for it, of course, because that's how I am. So, I ate more than what I wanted to tonight, so I'll take my bye-bye bloat. We'll see how I actually feel tomorrow. The rest of my day went okay. I kind of was more hungry than I wanted to be too. This morning I ended up having a protein bar by like eight o'clock and then I was able to wait until 10 o'clock to eat my breakfast. I counted down the minutes until noon whenever I could um, make my lunch, which was buffalo chicken pita sandwiches with my tortilla chips and then I ended up eating the cantaloupe that I brought and I had another pita with some of my um, RX vanilla almond butter on top so I've been in a snacky mood today I've been pretty hungry today overall um, but I guess my body's just needing more food at this moment in time which sucks but I think Hannah and I are going to get dinner tomorrow night before the show um, I might try to keep it at 500 calories or less. It kind of just depends on how I feel tomorrow. Um, but like I said, I have to pack my gym bag so I can be ready for that since I'll be getting up early to go work out at work because I'm doing this show after work tomorrow. I won't have time to work out and I want to be able to get in my six days. I'd planned on only doing five, but with the yoga today not being super hardcore or anything like that, I would personally feel better if I went to the gym tomorrow morning and did some kind of workout. So that's what I plan on doing. But I packed my bag for the third time now, I'll say it. So I'm gonna let you guys go so I can do that and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Well, good morning everybody. As you can see, work gym. I was not planning on doing this yesterday actually. 
I thought about skipping both Friday and Saturday, but went ahead and decided to come in today and do kind of a full body workout. Um, kind of stretch out my muscles and everything a little bit more since last night I was actually feeling a little bit better. I feel like after this morning, after I get a little bit more stretched out and stuff, I'll probably feel better again, if that makes sense. I just feel like I need to get something in for the day. Um, kind of bring me out of my tiredness, maybe, or something. But yeah, definitely working out today since I got here so early. Um, I am bloated this morning which was to be expected. I knew that was gonna happen because I overate last night. One thing I do wanna point out to you guys is that to me it's kind of, I don't wanna say nice because I hate being bloated, but it really shows me that what I've been doing recently with um, really watching what I eat and how much I eat at night before bed, you know, eating one serving and then stopping, being full. It just shows me that um, that is definitely what is helping me keep the bloat down is not eat as much. And sorry, I'm distracted. I'm looking for a pair of scissors at a random person's desk. Found my scissors back to the workout room. Um, anyway, like I was saying, um, you know, it just really shows me that overindulging at night before bed is definitely where I've been getting more bloated. And since I've been watching that more, I've not been getting as bloated or bloated at all. And last night I kind of just, snacked a lot and everything after dinner more than what i wanted to or planned on doing i hate doing that and i stayed at my tdee for the day my 3500 calorie deficit tdee um if that makes sense so i had quite a few calories last night um but i know that with a couple days i'll be back to normal maybe after the day even i did think about having dinner tonight with hannah but that might change as the day goes on or if i'm not hungry i'm not going to make myself eat we'll see what it's like later this afternoon I'm gonna get off here so I can get started on my workouts though. So I'll talk to you guys later on and we'll see how the day goes. It's 1.30. I am walking because I have had too much work happen in my life today. I think that's every day of my life. Ha ha. <laughs> and um, just wanted to update you guys. I haven't eaten. I had my bang this morning. I had a cup of coffee and I feel okay right now. And I'm actually not really disappointed in my body today like I thought I would be um, overeating last night or what I consider overeating anyway, which is really comforting. But kind of like what I told you guys earlier, I still don't know if I'm gonna do dinner tonight or not. I haven't even talked to Hannah about where to go or what to do or anything like that. So it's all kind of up in the air at this point. I have a whole bunch of stuff I have to do though this evening. A leaf just blew across the trail and I thought it was a snake and it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> A whole bunch of stuff I have to do um, after I get off, so I'm hoping I have time to do that, a bunch of returns and stuff and all that great fun stuff. So I don't know if I'll talk to you guys again between now and bedtime, so that's one reason why I did want to go ahead and check in. And if I do decide to eat tonight, I'll let you guys know tomorrow morning, but I might vlog and surprise you guys and surprise myself via event. So uh, it's probably super windy, you can't hear very well. I'll let you guys go and talk to you later on tonight, baby. I was just telling Ian how this jacket last year fit me a little bit better than it does this year just because my back and shoulders have gotten so much stronger that I feel like I could Hulk rip this jacket. That's how tight it is. It's kind of uncomfortable. I might change it actually. I don't know. We'll see. What's up guys? Today is Saturday. My best friend Elizabeth got here this morning with her son and they're in the other room. We're getting ready to run to Trader Joe's and the thrift store and do some things today. And um, I wanted to sign on really quick and tell you guys that I'm really proud of myself because I made it through three full fasting days this week. Um, last night after I got home, Hannah got here, we visited, drove an hour to the show, watched the show, drove an hour back, and during that time we didn't have any time to stop and get any food. So I didn't eat and I'm really proud of myself because I made it through three full fasting days. I didn't break which has been the first time in a long time that I've been able to do that. So definitely my willpower and determination have shown through this week because um, I was wanting to break 
really bad for the food day on Wednesday and I didn't. Um, last night we were really close to getting food but I didn't. Just some things like that which is really awesome. So I'm really proud of myself that I was able to make it this far and not eat. This morning I ended up making myself some coffee for breakfast of course and then I made um, sour cream old fashioned donuts. I kind of modified the recipe to make it a little bit more healthier. They didn't turn out exactly like regular you know old fashioned donuts but I didn't fry them. I actually baked them so I think that's a lot of the reason why. Um, but they turned out pretty good. I mean, I had one of those and then I ended up making some pumpkin spice oatmeal that I got from Walmart, um, that I had up in the cabinet for a while that I'm going to have to eventually start eating. So I might as well do it now, <laughs> but that's what I've had this morning. Um, we are getting ready to go to Trader Joe's, uh, go thrift store shopping and all that stuff. So when we come back, I want to make some kind of like chicken Popeye bake or something. Cause it sounds really good for a chilly day. Chicken Popeye just sounds good. Plus I had the ingredients for it and I need to make it. But anyway, I'll let you guys go so I can get going on my day. I'll talk to you later on this afternoon. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I didn't vlog, of course, last half of the day because I was so busy. So I'm gonna rewind and talk to you guys and tell you what all we did. After I talked to you guys yesterday, Elizabeth and I went to the thrift store and just kind of looked around. I got a couple pairs of jeans. She needed a new pair of jeans um, and did that. So we did a little bit of thrift store shopping. After we were done with the thrift store, we headed over to Trader Joe's where we stopped at this place called Charleston's and got lunch. Um, I ended up getting their special, which was a mahi sandwich, which was really tasty, side of some veggies. So I was trying to be more health conscious, of course. If I wanted to be 100% health conscious, I could have ditched the bun, but I didn't want to do that because it was really good. And then we headed over to Trader Joe's and I got some groceries and she went there for the first time. She'd never been before being from somewhere where they don't have them. And um, they gave her the cookie butter that she bought for free. I mean, of course I had to have her try it. And of course I had to get the cocoa and cookie butter swirl cookie butter. So don't judge me. It's an addiction. I think I should be on my strange addictions. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I got that, came home, kind of chilled a little bit, got ready, and went to David's Bridals where I met three of my bridesmaids and they all tried on the bridesmaids dresses for the wedding and each one of them got a different one which is kind of what I was wanting envisioning in my head which is great and then we got dinner at this place called Saints and I got a Philly cheesesteak wrap which was okay it wasn't like the best thing I'd had all day with sweet potato fries then went home kind of chilled relaxed and then headed to bed this morning Elizabeth left at like 5 30 then I'm up now. I haven't eaten. It's 9.13. I'm still full from yesterday. I'm not hungry. Um, I am running some errands. I'm going to go to the grocery store again because I didn't get everything I needed yesterday at Trader Joe's. And um, I'm going to pick up last minute things. And then around 11.30 I'm going to head over to Hannah's because we're going to go see Dear Evan Hansen at the Music Hall downtown, which I'm super excited about. So that's kind of what my day has been so far. Uh, lots going on and um, it's been a busy weekend and I'm now vlogging and I feel okay. A little bit more bloated than I wanted to be but I did eat a lot yesterday, more than what I wanted. I stand under my 3,500 calorie deficit TDE which is good but today I'm gonna try to keep the food a little lighter and not eat so much so that way I don't feel miserable. Um, you know, like I said, I'm skipping breakfast which is something that I've typically been doing on Sundays is like just getting a coffee or something instead of eating but I did get some pumpkin bagels from Trader Joe's 
videos yesterday. Those sound amazing, but we're not gonna talk about it, are we? <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later on Saturday to let you know how the rest of the day goes. Like I said, it's been a busy weekend. I'm glad that I remembered to vlog to you guys on the way to the grocery store. I can't even begin to describe to you guys how amazing Dear Evan Hansen was. It is probably the best musical that I have seen on the stage so far in my life. It was so phenomenal. All of these singers were amazing. The acting was, I just, I can't. It's the best show I've seen. So I highly suggest if you are interested in musicals, if you can somehow swing it, go see Dear Evan Hansen, the tour. It was, I, yeah, I'm speechless <laughs> basically it was so worth it it was so worth going to see which of course to me any touring show was worth to go see because it's a touring Broadway show but this was without a doubt my most favorite that I've seen on stage so far which was awesome and I'm really fortunate um, to have been able to see it so shout out to Hannah thank you for the tickets thank you for taking me to see that show because it was yeah, so good. <laughs> um, besides that, what's up guys? I am on my way home from Hannah's house. After the show, we went to Burger Kitchen, or B-R-G-R -R Kitchen. I say Burger Kitchen, because that's what it sounds like to me. And I got the jalapeno popper burger with some truffle tots. I know it was probably a lot, but that's kind of what I broke today with. I had eaten before then, and we didn't eat until four something. Like, it was pretty late in the day, so I, technically fasted for quite a bit of time yesterday. I can't remember what time I stopped eating last night, probably around eight. So uh, that's a typical time for me. Um, 24 hours, of course, would have been eight o'clock today. So I've been about 20 hours without food, which is fine because I felt like I'd eat over yesterday, even though I was still under my 3,500 calorie deficit TDE. Yeah, I had that burger, I had fries, and now, like I said, I am headed home. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not in the mood to run. I'm not in the mood to work out, but I feel like I probably should just because that's who I am as a person. I feel like I need to do those things. Um, if I don't work out, I'm gonna feel bad about it, but I'm also just super tired and not really wanting to do anything. Um, so I guess I'll kinda just see what it feels like whenever I get home, but that's where I'm going now. So I'm gonna let you guys go so I can concentrate on this drive and I will talk to you later on this evening when I sign out of this week's vlog. I can't believe I'm already at the end of this week's vlog. I can't believe the weekend's already over. It sucks. <laughs> so Ian's currently showering and I was going to sign out of my vlog tomorrow morning because I wasn't feeling like doing it right now. But I figured might as well just go ahead and end it right now while I have a second since he's busy before we go to bed and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. I did one meal today. Um, I mean besides the coffee that I had this morning and um, the ice cream I had tonight after I got home, I had one meal today. So I'm kind of nervous about uh, tomorrow, basically. Tomorrow's a fasting day for me. I plan on fasting the entire day, and I hope I can make it through it. Um, I didn't work out like I wanted to, but I got home a lot later than I thought I was going to, and I didn't have time. I wanted to just chill tonight. Since I've been going all weekend, I needed this rest, and I know that. Kind of bummed at myself for not working out today, which means I only worked out five days this week, but it doesn't matter. And it's not like this happens all the time. And even if it did, it wouldn't matter. And I'm just fighting with that whole battle in my head, basically, about how it's fine that I didn't kill myself and work myself out six days this week. I only worked out five, and that's okay. There's nothing bad about that. Anyways, didn't work out tonight, came home. Watch Toy Story 4 with Ian. That movie is not made for children. This is made for like people our age, like 25, 26. Like I grew up with Toy Story because uh, that movie was pretty great. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's good. I hope that that's the last one though, just because they keep toying with my emotions and it's driving me crazy. Uh, and then, like I said, I had some of my Carb Smart Briars ice cream and I topped it with a cinnamon bun spread that I got from Trader Joe's, which was really good too. So that was my treat I had today. And like earlier I said, I had the burger and tater tots, so that's all I've had to eat today. Hopefully I'm not hungry tomorrow. We'll see what happens though, won't we?
this has been one fun-filled weekend full of activities and people and just things and I'm exhausted. I'm ready for bed. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this week's vlog. We will go ahead and sign out of this week's vlog. Won't we, Bowser? Are you ready for bed? Are you ready for night? Neil. Yeah. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. Bowser and I really, really appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.